Hey you guys, Bubba Saw here, coming at you with a quick video. I made a video on this saw in the past, but that's when I had the shittier cameras. That was before they came out with these new iPhones. It's got the multiple cameras. Ignore my dog, he don't like chainsaws. But uh, we're not gonna be starting this one up because it ain't got a bar and chain on it. And I don't feel like putting gas in it, but here's my steel. Uh, old 36 Magnum or old 36 Pro, whichever it is. But anyway, the only difference from the old 36 and the old 34 is that the old 36 has a decompressor valve here, which it's been deleted. I got an old 36 jug, jug and piston for it, the cylinder and piston. I call the cylinder a jug, but anyway and put on it because the original one somebody had run straight gas in it and i went ahead and plugged it and then i got some uh uh 034 air uh air filter cover and a top cover so don't have the decompressor anymore uh like i said this saw runs i need to get it cleaned up it's a little bit got cobwebs on it but it's got the hard to find 034 muffler, the bullet hole muffler. That's what you want for you guys that are building these. Because I know if you get on eBay or Amazon and type in uh, steel 034 muffler, it comes up with the style muffler. It's like the 066 and style muffler where it ain't got this on it. The only difference between this muffler and the muffler you can get in today's market is that it don't have this on it. But if you're good with metal and bending, you can make you a metal piece and and have it welded on. That's not, that's not, they call it a bullet hole muffler. What I've always heard it was called. But yeah, functional chain brake. I need to get some new bar nuts for it or look through my junk pile. I got some steel 025s and an 029. I think the bar stud nuts will fit on it. Saw is very clean. Uh, there's been a varmint chewing on it right here. Chewed some of the leather off of it. And of course it's missing the little rubber boot, which I... I got an extra one in there somewhere. And all these markings that are on the saw are accurate. Because back in the day, I had some accurate uh, photos from the movie. Really uh, crystal clear photos. And I've since lost them because my first generation iPad battery went kaput and i don't know what model it is so i can order a new battery and put in it to get my old photos back but there's my skin and bone saw it did have the bones back here at one point in time and varmints chewed them up but this is a good representation for somebody that's wanting to build a skin and bone I'm thinking about getting a Holtz Forma. Uh, I think it's a 360. The Holtz Forma makes a, a, a knockoff steel that basically looks like this. I thought about doing, making me a Excalibur saw. But there's a look at my skin and bone saw because I've, I've had a few people tell me Oh, you need to get the skin and bones uh, saw. Well, don't already have it. I just got to put the bar and chain back on it. And the bar and chain, I'm about positive, is a 20-inch sprocket nose bar. But there it is, guys. A look at the leather face skin and bone saw, how it, how it looks now. Uh, you can go back and watch my early videos of it running. The only thing is, I think it needs uh, crank burns because it's got a little bit of a roaring noise. But as far as the piston and cylinder, brand new aftermarket, of course. 
There's a look at the, the skin and bones. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.